Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and y'all already see what I'm cooking. Uh, today I will be cooking some steak fries and shrimp. Now, this is the CPAC brand. I'm always craving shrimp. Y'all know I love shrimp. Don't do that. So, today let me show y'all the fries first. Today we're going to be using the steak fries. These are the Publix French fried potatoes. The steak fries. Love those. And y'all already know, I'm going to put some of my, y'all have seen. Alright, so we got the CPAC. Publix had these on sale this week. Buy one, get one. So y'all already know I was going to get it. I was going to get it. So these are the Jumbo Butterfly Shrimp Oven Crispy. So good. We're going to put these in the oven. I got two boxes of those of the Jumbo Butterfly Shrimp. And I have two boxes of the Tempura Shrimp Oven Crispy. I love the Tempura Shrimp. So good. I love Tempura Shrimp. And my second box of Tempura Shrimp. That's what we got today, y'all. We're going to do some shrimp, fried shrimp, and fries. Y'all know, quick and easy. I'm going to pan everything up, show y'all how I'm going to pan everything up, and throw everything in the oven. The fries and the shrimp are going to cook in the oven together. Yes, throwing everything in the oven, quick and easy. Because I ain't got all day. Y'all already know. I don't have all day to be in the kitchen cooking. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But even when I do have time, I ain't got time. Okay. All right, y'all. Let go. Okay, let's get these uh, shrimp in the oven. I've got my pans lined with aluminum. And y'all know I'm using my old faithful uh, Publix canola spray. I'm spraying my aluminum so my shrimp don't stick. Been there and done that. So let's go ahead and get these open. So we can go ahead and pop these buddies, buddies in the oven. I've had these uh, shrimp before. They are really good. I love these. They are really good and they don't take long. They take about like 15 minutes to cook. So, I mean, even though they're frozen, they don't take long to cook. So, that's another thing that I like about them. I mean, as much as we like to pretend that we have all day to be in the kitchen, the reality of it is that we don't. We don't. We have, we have busy lives, especially when you have kids. You got a lot to do, you know. So, I'll just keep it real. I don't have all day to be in the kitchen. And there's nothing wrong with um, fixing nice, quick meals. Nothing wrong with it at all. Let's see. Let me show y'all the size of the shrimp and what they look like. They are a pretty decent size. Pretty decent size shrimp. Look at that. Pretty decent size. You know, to be frozen, you know, coming out of a box. I mean, I think they're a pretty decent size. I don't know, I might just need one pan for the shrimp. Yeah, I might just need one pan for all my shrimp. The tempura shrimp, they are a little longer, so I don't know, I gotta see. All right, so we got all of that in there. Okay. Nah, I'm gonna need this whole pan for this. I'm going to need this whole pan for the butterfly shrimp. Forgot I had a second box over here. Because, see, they, they give you, I mean, you know, for me and the girls, I mean, as you can see, they don't really give you a whole lot in one box. So, that's why I usually get a couple boxes. All right. Ugh. Get this open. <clears throat> so, yeah, I am going to need this whole... Uh, pan for the butterfly shrimp, which is fine. That's why I have the second pan here anyway. And like I said, these do not take long at all. Take about 15 minutes. They take about 15 minutes in the oven. But you know, we like ours a little, you know, extra crispy. Not too crispy. But you know, crispy. So sometimes it depends. I may leave them in there for about 15, 20 minutes. Just depends on how they cook. So... I got two more I need to squeeze in here, so come on, y'all. All right, let me turn that one that way. Try sometimes it's be like a be like a puzzle. You gotta figure out how to squeeze them all in there. I got two more shrimp to put in there. Okay, there. All right, okay, we got it. We got it because this one's not that big. Okay. All right, we got them all on there. We got them all on there, guys. All right, and this is our butterfly, jumbo butterfly shrimp. Okay, now I'm also gonna spray the top of these. Remember, 
Your cooking oil helps your food cook. That's why I always do the extra oil. On the bottom, we spray the pan, we put our shrimp down, and we spray it on top to help cook the food. All right, now next is the tempura shrimp. Tempura shrimp. I love the tempura. I haven't said that already, y'all. All right, let's get to the tempura shrimp. Love them, love them. Now, the tempura shrimp comes with like a little cocktail sauce that you can dip them in. So that's perfect. The butterfly shrimps don't have the sauce, but the tempura shrimp has like a little cocktail sauce. Uh, it says, includes sweet and spicy orange sauce. That's what it says here on the box. My bad, it's like an orange sauce. Whatever, tastes good to me. And the only thing I do is I just put some hot water out in the sink in a cup, and then I just sit this in it while they're cooking. So this can loosen up, cause you know, it's frozen. So that's what I do with the um, sweet and spicy orange sauce. Don't that sound good, y'all? Sweet and spicy orange sauce. <laughs> sound good to me. It be good. I be dipping my shrimp right on in there. Right on in there. All right, so let's get this cut open and get our tempura shrimp all lined up pretty, nice and pretty. And see the tempura shrimp? They're like a longer uh, breaded shrimp. I love the tempura shrimp. And you know what? One thing I have to let y'all know about these tempura shrimps and the um, regular butterfly shrimp. You, see, you do see the breading. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of breading, but don't get it wrong. There is shrimp in there. It's a nice size shrimp. It's not all breading, like it may look like. It's not all breading. I hate when I get all bread and no shrimp. Now, I ain't paying for no bread. If I want to pay for some bread, I go get a loaf of bread. So, I hate when they do that. It's all breading and you ain't got nothing, a little piece of meat in there with all that breading that they doing. I can't stand that. I'm not paying for no bread. That's not what I'm trying to buy. I want some shrimp. I'm paying for shrimp. Please, can I have my shrimp? That be making me mad, all this bread. And sometimes when you get chicken, it be all breaded, all bread and no chicken. Can I please have my chicken <clears throat> that I am paying for? I hate that when it's all breading, ugh. especially with shrimp. But I just want to let y'all know, I've had these a million times and it's all shrimp and a little bit of breading. It's so good. <clears throat> now the CPAC brand that I'm using today, it's a little pricey now. Uh, y'all know I'm keeping it real. Don't get it twisted. Now these are about $9 a box. I mean, you know, it's seafood and it's a good quality seafood and CPAC is definitely one of the uh, a little bit more pricier brands, but they are very good and it's worth it. But see, I only get these when they on sale, when they BOGO, but I won't get one. That's the only time I'm getting them. But sometimes, you know, if I'm really craving the shrimp, the tempura shrimp, I'll get them. Y'all know how it is. When you really want something, you'll get it. So, all right. Okay, all right, so we got all our shrimp lined up. All our shrimp is in the pan. Now I gotta spray the top of these. Oh yes, just a little light spray. You don't wanna soak it with the oil. Just a little light spray to help cook the shrimp. All right, y'all see I got it all pans up, all nicely pans up, y'all see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven and then I'm gonna come up and pan, uh, show y'all how I pan up the steak fries. All right guys, we are back to get our steak fries all nicely panned up. Gonna spray my pan just like I did with my shrimp. Get our steak fries cut open here. All right. All right. Okay. Steak fries. I love the steak fries, man. My greedy butt. I love everything. All right. Now my steak fries. I just make sure I line them up going down my pan. Just line them up nice. They ain't got to be all neat, y'all. Y'all know I'm OCD. Everything got to be in order. <laughs> That's it. Word of the day. That's it. I was waiting on God to give me that word of the day. Everything must be in order. If it ain't in order, it's going to be out of order. And you're going to see if it's out of order. Everything got to be in order. Got to be in order. Got to be in order. Your life, everything got to be in order. That's the word of the day, y'all. If it ain't in order, it's out of order. I'm telling you from experience, honey. 
my life was out of order. I was doing what I want to do. Child, please. And then when I came to that knowledge of Christ, of God, I'm trying to tell you. So I'm telling you, just because you give your life to Christ and, and you become, uh, you know, a Christian or whatever it is, you know how people, how people be politically being correct. But anyway, just because you give your life to Christ and, you know, that don't mean your life going to be, you're going to have no more trouble and everything going to be perfect and everything just going to be great and lovely and ooh, roses and flowers and petals and butterflies. No, 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 no. You're still going to go through, baby. You still gonna go through trials and tribulations. The, the the difference is you have God, you have Jesus, you have Christ, you have a comforter. You have somebody that you can turn to and say, Hey, I'm in trouble. I need help. Help me, Lord. Jesus. See what I'm saying? You have a comforter. You have somebody that's gonna be there for you no matter what. See, men gonna come and go. Men choose when they wanna be there for you. Ain't that something? How they choose when they wanna be there for you? Oh girl, now I don't feel like being bothered with that. See what I'm saying? Like, like, they choose when they want to be there for you. People choose when they want to be there for you. God, he going to be there for you no matter what. Good, bad, and the ugly, honey. He going to be there. He going to be there no matter what. He ain't going to leave you. Like family and friends do. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. That's just how it is. That's just the truth. Come on, we all know. We all know that's the truth. But see, that God, that Jesus, hey, hey he going to be there. He gonna be there no matter what. So remember that. Oh, fry trying to drop. The devil is alive. All right, and y'all know the steak fries just a little. The steak fries are a little thicker. They ain't like the little small fries. So I just pick my fries out and I just lay them flat. Gotta make sure you lay your fries flat because you want to make sure you know everything getting cooked right. So I'm just gonna throw a couple of these on there. I mean the the steak fries they thicker, you know. So they get you fuller quicker. So you don't need a whole lot of steak fries. So for me and the girls, this is enough. I mean, my little ones don't eat about like two or three, you know. And my greed, but I be eat about half, half a pan. Don't do that, y'all. Don't get mad because I tell you. I try to do the right thing. It ain't always easy, y'all. It ain't always easy to do the right thing. I'm just keeping it real. But you know what? I do my best. I do my best to show people love, respect, and comfort, and be there for them. But, all right, y'all, enough of me to walk in. Back to the food. Y'all see the steak fries all nicely panned up. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the oven with the shrimp. Because the shrimp trying to hurry up and get down. Uh-uh, shrimp. Let's go ahead and hurry up and get these steak fries in there. Now, the steak fries, they're going to take a little longer than 15 minutes now. Because, like, I'm going to do the steak fries for about 20 minutes. Because they thicker. And they frozen. I'm going to do them for about 20 minutes on one side. Then I'm going to flip them over and do them for another 20 minutes. No, no, about another 10 minutes on the other side. So, all right, y'all. Let me get these fries in the oven, y'all. And when I come back, yeah, when I come back, I should be pulling everything out of the oven. I'll be back, y'all. All right, guys. I just pulled everything out the oven. Nice, quick, easy, simple meal. And you guys see our shrimp. And yes, some is missing because, yes, I've already fixed me a plate. Don't worry about it. It's my food. I ate it because it was looking good. Don't worry about it, y'all. It was good. It was delicious. Anyway, so, yes, we got the butterfly shrimp looking delicious over there. We got the tempura shrimp looking amazing and good. I got to take y'all into that tempura. Woo, so y'all can see why I love it so much. It's so good. And the tempura be so crunchy. Back up a little bit, camera. And we got our golden brown fries back there. Oh, yes. Y'all see parsley, child. Y'all see parsley. All right, let me bring y'all out. We got the butterfly shrimp, tempura shrimp. Everything looking good, y'all. All right. Y'all seen me do it. So y'all know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.